Hey guys, what's up? Spartan 95 here. Welcome to day five of the Vagabond series. Uh, I had to kind of keep the campfire going last night because it was cold. Uh, luckily, the zombies left me alone after I got up here, so thank God for that. Uh, I did make some new armor real quick. I made some scrap chest armor, level 35. I made um, some scrap leg armor, level 76, and... I made a new poncho and a bandana also, just to kind of help out a little bit. I do have 10 points to use. Let's see what we can put those into. Uh, can I go into Pummel Pete yet? Uh, looks like I can. Let's throw a point in the Pummel Pete then. That's going to help out a lot. And let's go ahead and get on with our day. Um, kind of foggy this morning. Let me see if I can build a stair step of some sort. Oh, nope. Not going to happen. Hoping to do that, but where's that frame that I put down? Um, okay, so we were going to stay at Buzz's Bar last night. That didn't work out, of course. I need to grab some stone real quick this morning to make some more arrows and just to have. And then we're going to run over to the crack -a book turn our forge on, uh, kind of manage some storage real quick. I think in this town, I will use the crack -a book as my storage, kind of my storage area. I just can't stay there. I think that's fair enough. If I have storage in every single one of these buildings that I stay at, it's going to be impossible to manage and stuff. And it's just going to be a waste of time, honestly, uh, for you guys. You know, it's just going to be shorter videos and all that stuff. So I think if we just do it that way, that's fine. It's still, it's still a challenge. It's still a hell of a challenge. I can't just have storage boxes somewhere. So, And I'm still having to manage my storage a lot. So... Okay, I made a new stone axe, level 75, and let's get some more arrows crafting real quick. I want to try to get these feathers out of my inventory if I can. Yep, I can do it. Alright, seven more pieces of forged iron. Let's just throw all of our iron in there, and let's get this thing turned in, turned, turned off. I only have nine pieces of wood. That ain't going to do jack squat. Let's turn it on and let's grab some morning wood real quick. Uh, where are we? Where's the trees at? Let's go over here and grab some wood. Well, there's my nitrate powder that I have, and I think I can just turn this right into gunpowder, I think. It just costs you. It costs two instead of one, basically, is what it costs. I mean, I don't have a chem station right now, so that's just that's how it's going to have to work, I guess. Okay, that's a little better. Our storage is a little bit better now. Let's uh, let's pick a couple places to raid here. I think we'll raid. Uh, we have the bank, of course, but I don't have a pickaxe. I really want to find a pickaxe, and um, I don't want to venture too far away because I'd like to fight the horde in this town if I can. I think that would be good to fight it here. And then I think once we fight the horde, we'll move on. We'll move on to another city and just kind of go from there. So let's check this uh, building out real quick. And usually when I just find this glue, I just go straight to duct tape just to save the, just to save the, the space. Well, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, coffee beans. I would like to make, I'd like to make some coffee. Um... We'll take them. We'll see if we can maybe carry them. I'd like to make some coffee. Now, you can get coal from this, so we'll just grab this from the coal. Looks like zombies broke out of here. I think I can sneak right back here, can't I? Oh, I can't. Can I? Oh, I can't. I just, I hope I don't get back there. I can't, though. Um, we'll grab this gas barrel. These are good to grab. Once you find the schematic, you can make a lot of gas from these. That's the Shotgun Messiah, I believe. Um, let's run... Let's go this direction. There's a big house over here. Let's raid this big house. Oh, look at that. We got a pickaxe. Oh, it's not a very good one, but we have a pickaxe. Oh, do we want to go do the... We could do the bank, then, if we got this. Um... Still going to take a lot to get into those safes. There's a lot of safes. But I believe there's a safe in the Shotgun Messiah that I left. Let's go knock that one out real quick. In the back. 
Maybe not. Uh, it must have been the Shamway Foods or the Cracker Book they have the safe. I thought it was the Shotgun Messiah, but it must have been the other one. I'd like to have a better pickaxe to do the bank. It's just, it's still going to take forever, but we can maybe stay at the bank tonight and work on some safes overnight. I think we already searched this one. We came in through the back door. So let's go. Um, oh my god, there's a working stiff tools over here. I missed it. We got to hit that. We got to hit the working stiff tools. Uh, first aid kit schematic, we already know it, we'll just read it. Since we're on the back over here, let's uh, go ahead and check this out real quick. I am good on the lead. There is a shirt. Are those boots better than what I'm wearing? Let me look. Uh, they're a lot better than what I'm wearing, so we'll repair those. And we'll just wear those and we'll scrap these old boots. What about this shirt? Is that better than what I'm wearing? No, but I need to repair the one I'm wearing, definitely. Uh, we'll take the steel arrows. We'll go ahead and load those in right now. Oh, took a little bit of damage, but I'm okay. I'm going to grab a plant fiber to make a new wooden bow real quick. The one I have, I think I can make a better level real quick, so we'll just do that. Level 179! That'll work. There's some nitrate powder, so when we find some coal, we can go make some more gunpowder. More gunpowder. Cool. Do we have enough to make more blunderbuss ammo? Yeah, we do. Let's go and do that right now. What do we got? Mini bikes for dumb shits. All right. Wow. Well, that kind of changes things, finding that. I found that in the working stiff tools, too. So a lot of people ask, where do you find it? Well, you can pretty much find it anywhere. I mean, I just... What was that? Was that the... That's the file cabinet where I found it. So you can find it just about anywhere. You just got to keep searching. Well, that kind of changes things. Um, I might try to craft one. I have an engine and a battery. Uh, I need to get a workbench going. I need to craft a workbench. So maybe we'll work on crafting the workbench. Um, what do I need? Do I need to have it unlocked to craft the workbench? I don't know that I do. I can't remember if you need it unlocked or not. I know there's a skill. Let me see if I can find it real quick. There it is. Uh, unlocks the workbench recipe. So, yeah, I don't think I have the workbench recipe. So we'll, we'll unlock that. I have to get construction tools to level 20. So, okay, one thing we got to keep in mind. There is a nail gun. Um, yeah, that would be nice for a horde, for building the horde base. We'll take it. I'd rather just sell it, to be honest, but um, it'll be nice to upgrade for the horde base. I just broke that box apart. There must have been nothing in it, because usually a backpack will drop if you break it apart.
There is a blood bag. That I might have enough to make a... What else do I need to make a first aid kit? I need my grain alcohol, which is back at uh, base. So back at uh, the work... Whatever you call it. The... Crack a book. Oh, another pistol. Um, I don't think anything in there is going to be as good as what I have. No, it's not. But what we'll do is we'll... Um, let's drop... Let's scrap this one short iron pipe. And then if you if you go to disassemble, you have to know the schematic, but if you disassemble it, let's see, I have 13 rounds of 9mm right now. Let's disassemble it. Now I have 28. So I just got the 15 rounds. Of, you have to know the schematic. Once you dis disassemble it, you'll take the ammo out. So I got the ammo out of the gun, and we'll just sell that probably. Or scrap that. I will take. Um, I'll take that wrench. Cause mine, like I said, mine's about done. Yeah, I'll take the grain alcohol gladly. Let's scrap the splint. And man, I am like out completely out of room. Drop the coffee beans. Not too worried about that. More gunpowder. We should be able to make some more blunderbuss ammo then. Uh, there is a tool and die set. I believe you put that in the forge, I believe. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to grab that. Uh, what can I possibly drop? Not much. We'll scrap these frames. We'll take the tool and die set. That is, uh, is that a nail gun receiver? It is. Uh, I'm going to scrap it. I have a ton of zombies outside. I think a wandering horde just showed up. I need to make a new stone axe anyway. Let's go see what's going on outside. I don't think they have a way to really get in. Okay, I got a new stone axe. I think they're moving on. I think the Wandering Horde's moving on. Oh, we need mechanical parts. I was just thinking that, that I was going to try to maybe take some stuff apart, but that's eight mechanical parts. That's awesome. A whole bunch of wood. Oh, there's the safe. I can get to it. I don't think I can get to it. And we got a shotgun short barrel, a hunting rifle stock, and a pistol grip. All pretty good level. Um, I don't really have... Let me throw some stuff in this crate real quick. Uh, that's a pretty good... Hunting rifle. Uh, the pistol grip is level 236, and I have a 412 in there, so that's not as going to be as good. Uh, I'm going to scrap that. I know people are going to yell at me. There's a shotgun short barrel, though. That's pretty nice. Let's uh, drop the coin. Okay, I think we're done in here. Well, that's awesome. We found a working stiff tools. What else did I miss in this dang town? I think that's it. I think this is the corner. Uh, let's head back to the crack -a book I have no storage at all. And, uh, need to just drop some things off real quick. Is this the, uh... Ooh. This is the bunker, isn't it? It is the bunker. That might be a fun one to do tonight. Um, I don't really have a good way to get into stuff. 
I like doing that when I have the auger or a steel pickaxe. It just takes forever to get into anything, but that's a pretty good one to raid. Okay, here's our forge. Um, let's go ahead and put all of our iron in there and turn this thing on. Okay, I can make a couple first aid kits. Looks like I can make one, so we'll gladly do that. Let's go ahead and put the tool and die set in the forge. I really have no idea what that does, to be honest. No idea. I know we can make advanced stuff with it, I think, eventually. But, uh, yeah, I have zero idea. Okay, we cleaned up our storage just a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Um, let's find... We can raid maybe one more thing. Maybe we'll stay at the Working Stiff Tools, though. Let's head back that direction. Maybe we'll stay at the Working Stiff Tools. We need to take apart the shopping carts that are there to get some more mechanical parts. We're going to need mechanical parts for... There's a whole bunch over here. We can just rip these apart real quick. We're going to need mechanical parts for the workbench and the minibike. Okay, that'll work. I know there's probably some more in there, but we have 11 mechanical parts from that, so that's fantastic. Uh, we have this house. I don't think it's a very good house to raid, though. I think it's one of the starter houses, as I call it. Like, one of the ones you kind of come up, come up on in early game. Uh, we'll venture back towards the Working Sift Tools. We'll raid a couple houses over here. We also have the Salvage Yard over there that might not be a good... Might be a good one to raid, also. Uh, we have the Bunker... What is this place here? This looks like it's from Perishton, actually. Let's let's do this one. I think this is located in Perishton. I think it's the what the general store, maybe. Good on the fertilizer. Probably good on the feathers, too. We'll take the duct tape, though, gladly. Ah, oh, there's some cowboy boots. I don't think those are as good as what we're wearing, though. Yeah, they're not as good. So we'll, uh, they sell for 23. We'll scrap them for the leather. There is the flaming arrow schematic and the iron boot schematic. Oh, some coal. Perfect. Okay, because we have some nitrate powder, I believe. So we can turn that into gunpowder. There's some shorts. We'll scrap those. I'm going to leave all the couches. I know I can take them apart for the cloth, but I have so much cloth. There's some more cloth right there. I don't even have to take apart couches. Ooh, a duster. Yeah, let's uh, let's wear that. That's going to help out on these colder nights that I'm sitting on top of a roof. It does take the place of my animal hide poncho, but for right now, I've been colder than anything. So I'm going to scrap the duster and the poncho that I made. The ponchos are pretty easy to make, so I'm not worried about making another one. There is a pistol grip. I think that's uh, what is mine I'm carrying. Not as good. I'm just going to scrap that one. I don't have a workbench yet to combine them, so. This actually would be a pretty good place to hang out tonight. Um, we might just hang out here instead of the working, instead of the working stiff tools. Uh, it's pretty hard for them to get all the way up to me, so we might just do that. And they're going to have to, like, snake around and stuff. 
Okay, so the salvage yard is right next door. Uh, we could search all these cars real quick. Uh, hunting knife book. Cool. We'll read that. I could craft a hunting knife, I guess, if I want. They work pretty good. Well, a car battery. That's better than the one I have. And I just realized, I think I didn't finish searching that one house we were searching last night. Um, so darn it. I don't know how much was in there left. Uh, probably not a lot. I would like to grab that oil, so we'll drop the glass jars. Getting pretty late. I just want to kind of grab the important stuff real quick. The cans. That's the important stuff. That's what I came here for was an empty can. Not a whole lot going on. We have two rooms left. Let's see if we can maybe search them real quick. Uh, we'll scrap both of those for the iron. Oh, nice. Uh, let's pop that vitamin right now. And I don't know what's in that other room, but I want to get back. Uh, we got a, we got a boogie. I really don't want to have a bunch of zombies chasing me up the stairs as I'm trying to get in. So basically, I'm not even going to board it up because I, I don't think they're going to have. I mean, they're going to have to come a long way to get to me. Maybe they'll be smart enough, but I don't think they are. All right, here we are. This is where we're going to hang out for the night. Just up here and. Oh, is that the that's the adult movie place? Oh, we got to do that tomorrow. I did not see that there. We'll go in there tomorrow. Okay, I am starting to hear some zombies though. Uh, let's drop this egg. I'll go and make some frames just to be on the safe side. I'll throw a frame there. If they start to come, I'll just repair it, but I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, though, guys. Uh, we'll pick things up in day six. I think we'll hit that adult movie theater in the morning. We'll hit that, and then is what is that right there? I, I tell you what, let's stop doing this. Let's, let's do this. And there's a little house right there we can hit. Um, that's not the... Yeah, I don't think that, yeah, we'll hit the adult movie place. That's a good POI to raid. And then we need to start thinking about a horde base. I'm probably not going to do anything until day seven because I don't even know where I'm staying on day seven. I might use the working stiff tools as a horde base. I might. Is what I might do. Did I search this backpack? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to end it. I'm going to shut up and we're going to end this episode and we'll pick things up uh, tomorrow. We also have this place here we can check out too. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.